thank you. I hope that you all can hear me and thank you, uh, Mr. President and also Mr. Secretary General, dear colleagues and friends. Times, uh, time does not allow for a full and comprehensive report, of course. So I've uh, placed in the e-folder of the standing committee, my updated work plan, as well as uh, the highlights of the OSCE PA web dialogue. From the Arctic to global, the politi political role in uh, addressing climate change. This document contains uh, some key conclusions and recommendations for uh, our assembly, and it also sums up most of my work. So uh, let me just make three key points. As you know, I uh, continue to give priority in my mandate uh, to the effects of climate change on Arctic uh, societies. And uh, we must still raise awareness that uh, what happens in the Arctic does not stay in the Arctic. Climate change is a climate crisis. And it directly impacts on people's security. Consequences uh, on Arctic societies should ring the alarm for all of us. And second, as and uh, as MPs, we have some key assets, not least legislative and oversight capacities. And we can also support and provide long-term strategic political leadership to build resilient, sustainable and climate-friendly societies. In particular, it's urgent to adapt national legislation to relevant international agreements, mobilize adequate, adequate resources, engage young people, and work together with all stakeholders. We need to depoliticize the topic and consider joint responses to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and also, and also the climate change. Taking into account all of the above, I call on the PA leadership to explore ways to develop a more structured portfolio on the work on climate within our assembly. It's clear that there's an added value that we can play uh, play on as MPs. We should make use of this. Thank you for the support from the Secretariat and thank you all of you.